I'm just going to show you how to piece together a Schneider Electric Universal Enclosure. So what I've got here is the uh, C Electrical 3D environment and I've copied in Schneider Electric's Universal Enclosures data. And you should be able to get this from your local sales team. Um, it should come as both a folder and as a separate file in the zip. So you should have a separate file and a folder which you then drop into your symbols folder and make sure you're pointing to that by going to the file settings and point into the right place in the background. So to put this together what we're going to do is see what functions we have. We're going to click on spatial steel floor spatial SF and I'm going to place in an assembly there for a 1200 by 600 high 400 deep enclosure. Now this comes as a kit so it's already got parts in there. If I just click to place it down and rotate slightly zoom in I can see when I click that the door is part of it, the roof and the back plate uh, are all part of that already. If I want to reposition something I can double click on an element and I can see I can then move it around. Now the key snapping information here is that we have something called a mating snap on the top toolbar when you click on that you'll see you have an area that you can snap to and it highlights as soon as you drop an object towards it or move your cursor hover over it. If I move down towards the bottom you can see that the hinge is on the bottom left if I move towards the top then the hinge is on the right and then click to actually insert it. What I'm going to do is add some side panels to this so I'm going to scroll down steel FS accessories and I want a 1200 by 400 deep. As I move towards this area you can see that an, a matching mating panel appears and I can click anywhere near it and it snaps. Now this is an assembly, it comes with two side panels, so one is in place, this second one I need to double click, swing the whole thing around and just drop it on that side. So now I've got sides on this. Similar kind of thing if I scroll down and look for an entry gland or a, a plinth for this. So I'll try 600 wide by 100 front plinth and again there are two parts that have been given to me. I drag and drop the first part, double click on the second part and I can then drop that at the back and you can see it twist around, snap into place. It's very simple to put together, drag and drop and then snapping to the points. I'm going to take two side panels which are side plinths, so 100 by 400 and again they should snap into position. This has a tab for an option or I can just left click to say that's how I want it. And again double click on the extra one, drop it around this side. Um, if there's something I don't want to be able to see so that uh, I can actually look inside the enclosure I can click on the door and I use the explorer panel. When I click on that make sure it's loading on the bottom left and then it gives me a tree diagram of how everything is related together. Anything I've clicked on should be highlighted. I can see that there. Click on the hide option on the bulb and I can see inside. I'm going to also on the bottom left turn off the grid. So now I can see inside. Back on the symbols panel. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to put an entry gland which is or a cable gland which is 600 by 400. Single click and just drop it on the base there. So the next thing we need a mounting plate to put the electrical components onto. I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to go to common accessories, mounting plates, FS steel mounting plate and I want a 1200 by 600 mounting plate. Now still with the mating snap I can see that as I move down towards the bottom I can see this nice blue strip appearing so I can snap into there. But as well as that, once I click, I get a second option to say whereabouts this is going to mount. And if I zoom right in, you can see these snap points. These are the positions that I could mount it. Second click, and I can see that it's now mounted in that position. If I wanted to move it, I simply double click on the object again and repeat that. Snap for the actual strip and then choose which point I want to snap it into. Super, very easy to put together uh, and a great addition to the 3D package there, that's the mounting paint. And then using Explorer and we can right click on the top of this and say show all 
and that's a completed enclosure.